Hallelujah. Our God is gracious, our God is merciful, and our God is holy. Now, I, I just, as, as we've been praying for these two nations, um, I want to speak directly what the Lord, the heart of the Lord for the two nations. Okay. And um, I pray that uh, the two nations are going to take time in God's presence and hear what God is speaking to the two nations. I will start with Kenya. The word of the Lord, the Lord has taken me into his word, Isaiah 29, yeah. and from verse 9, and up to 16. And the Lord is saying this, there is a blindness, there is a drunkardness, there is a staggering in the house of God. There's a blindness, there's a drunkenness, there's a staggering in the house of God. And the Lord is saying, even the prophets are in deep sleep. The seers, their heads are covered. People of God in Kenya, there's a blindness, there's a drunkenness, and there's a staggering in his house. Return to God. Let all the servants of God return to him. Let the people of God return to him. There's a staggering in his house. There's a drunkenness in the house of God. There's blindness in the house of God. And the Lord is saying this. As the people drew near, with their mouths and honor me with their lips. But I've removed their hearts far from me and their fear towards me. Hear me carefully, people of God. As a nation of Kenya, we have talked about God. We, we, we confess with our mouths and with our lips. And we say, Lord, we honor you, but our hearts are far away from him. And the fear of God is far away from us. It's time for us as a nation to come to a place of being true to God. The Lord is tired of lip service. If I'm going before him to make people know that I am with him, and so I speak with my, my lips and and I, 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 I move ahead. Wow. Here, be careful. I'm going to repeat this. The people are honoring God with their lips and drawing near to God with their mouths so that people can hear what they are saying about God. But the Lord is saying, the hearts of men and women are that is lost. Praise the Lord. This is God of the Lord for the nation of Kenya. And I pray that men and women will heed to God and come to a place of repentance and true worship to Jehovah. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord is saying he wants to do a marvelous thing upon this nation, upon the and wonders upon Kenya. And what must we do as a nation? Because right now, there's drunkenness, there's staggering, there's blindness in the house of God. The prophets are in deep sleep. The seers and the, and the men of God are covered in their heads. And the Lord is saying, it's time to come back to him. Mm. It's time to come back to him. The Lord is tired of leaving service from our mouth and honoring him with our lips while the fear 
of him mm. is far away and our hearts are far away from him so as a nation it's time to return to god with a true heart and with the fear of god that is the word of god for the nation of kenya and the lord is saying this as men and women turn to me in truthfulness the lord is saying this i will show my marvelous works upon kenya i will show my wonders upon kenya in the name of jesus i want to move to the next nation is we're praying for bangladesh and the lord took me into his word and uh, i want us to look at the book of mika the book of mika um mika chapter 5 the book of mika chapter 5 and the lord has shown me what is happening in the nation of of uh, bangladesh mm. bangladesh as a nation you have trust a lot in your strength in your chariots mm. in your horses mm. and the lord is saying this time has come that you may throw down that which has been your stronghold mm. and release it to him i see a deep entrenchment of, ido- of idolatry a deep entrenchment of idolatry a deep entrenchment of people raising altars that are not of god so a lot of idolatry and, and the lord is saying this that i am going to pluck them out i will pluck out every wooden image that you have brought in bangladesh bangladesh the spirit of the lord is reigning upon you as a nation and it is time to put away your chariots it is time to put away your horses and come to god and put away every sorcery put away every idol worship i see wooden images i see uh, altars that have been raised that have taken the place of god because the lord wants to bless this nation and i see in this nation an uprise of servants of god that god is raising in bangladesh for too long there's been people have been looking for power and because of they they're looking for power they have gone into idolatry and into other divinities to look for power and god is saying this my power shall reign back upon my church and today i see the spirit the lord is raising servants the lord is raising servants in bangladesh the lord is raising servants in bangladesh and the prophetic anointing is going to grow deeper in bangladesh and the spirit of the lord is saying this put away destroy these altars destroy these altars because i see the christians who are still worshiping god but they have not destroyed the altars destroy the altars and the power of god shall prevail destroy this idolatry altars of idolatry destroy them and the spirit of the lord shall manifest upon you as a nation I want to pray father i thank you and bless you for your word to kenya and to bangladesh and father i've shared what you put in my heart today father i pray that lord men and women in this nations will heed your word that king of glory as they heed your word that lord you will prevail lord you will shine and lord you will take authority over this nations i declare the decree by the power given to me in the name of jesus christ that the king of glory to those who will heed your word that god almighty may they meet you may they know you may they get deeper with you god i declare father that these two nations lord let the gospel penetrate in the nations of my father father lord this morning i also pray for my viewers lord there are men and women who have joined us for prayers and lord they have needs i speak a blessing upon you you is sick and you are online stretch your hands right now je ba ado sura brigana ma abrezera brozoro jina brigato brosina ma ma brezera brigato rozona ma angra bria rakado sura brigana ma angra tera brizara ba ze era brigaba ma kratora briga azetini mi ikaba i cancel every infirmity every sickness in your body every works of darkness against your body I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare this morning and the unction of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ King of glory let your fire flow right into their homes right into their cars right into their workplaces father Lord irrespective of their time zone 
those who are in the night, those who are in the day and the afternoon, oh God, different seasons, oh God. I declare, Father, may they connect with you right now, with the anointing that God will receive right now of divine healing. Let that healing be their portion. Those who are in us for best of God, let them arise, let them arise, let them arise, let them arise. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I bless your people for being faithful to connect with you. I bless you, Lord, for being faithful. Almighty God, I bless every viewer, Lord, every partner of the ministry. May you connect, or may you may, may you connect them deeper to you, O God. May they know you deeper. I pray that looking of glory. May they be blessed. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who has joined us online, Father. May you bless their homes and bless their families. I declare it now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you very much, people of God, for connecting with us as a ministry. The Lord has given us a passion as a ministry to pray for nations. Um, the Lord is coming back. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. And as a ministry, we have been put forth to prepare the nations for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why the Lord God Almighty has put us forth to release back his prophetic unction back on earth as we train people and evangelize and use them to take the gospel to other nations for the glory of God. And people of God, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord use you, and may you continue to have a deep affinity to know Amen. him deep. We connect again on Friday, same, same time, 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. East African time. And the Lord is gracious. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for being part of our prayers. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the faithful of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom.